Hello, and welcome to another walk with Roger. So I'm back out again in the Brecon Beacons, uh, looking for a camp with a view this time, with a bit of luck. Uh, it's going to be the final walk of the year, final camp of the year. So uh, I'm going to try and make the most of it. It's coming up to Christmas, of course, so yeah, it's going to be good. So I'm walking on the Brecon Beacons Way at the moment, away from Story Arms, Stroke, Pontardave Car Park. Uh, which is being redeveloped, so I'll, I'll put some film in of that happening so you can see what to expect next time you come, if you haven't been here for a while. It's looking good actually, quietly impressed. Although apparently it's going to cost to park there unless you're a National Trust member, but hey-ho. Uh, yeah, so I've got a couple of miles to walk to where I'm hoping to camp. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there is snow on the top of the main beacons, Corn Deep, Hennevan, etc. And a little bit on top of Van Vauer as well. But uh, shouldn't be anywhere I'm going. Which is a bit of a shame really, but you can't have it all, can you? Anyway, let's go. If you watched my old videos, you'll know we've been here before. This is Krai Kere Glaciad. It's a very special place for plant life here in the Brecon Beacons. And as you can see, it's uh, it's quite a coom. We'll go around the other side in a minute and look back. But uh, pretty impressive. And over the back there, you can't see the trig point, but that's where I'm aiming for tonight. It's only past two, so I've got plenty of time. Ah, a little bit of snow. It's very pretty like this, isn't it? I'm told there's a possibility of some snow flurries tomorrow, but uh, I think that's after I've gone home. There's the coom in all its glory. Craig Kerig Glaciad. You can see the moraines down the bottom there. And uh, there's an ancient settlement or remains of down there as well. the sheep in the dip out of the wind. Clever thing, sheep. Much more clever than us, I think. Okay, so next thing to do is look for a pitch. But first I'll give you a look round, see what I can see. To the east then, where those clouds are rolling over the hill, that's the main Brecon beacons. So Corndi, Penavan, Gribbin, Fanny Big over there. And that's now looking south. And that one in the cloud over there is Van Vauer. And you can see that uh, the cliff we were looking at earlier, Craig Harry Glaciad, and coming around here. I don't know if you can pick up the, uh, the wind farm on the horizon there. But over there, that's Van Lea coming on round Van Neath, and then right round over there, that is the Camarthen Van, uh, Picus D, Van Heer, Van Brecheiniog, etc. And round to the north, we have Powys, and on round Herefordshire, etc. And way, way in the distance, the Cambrian Mountains. Okay, so I was hoping I could pitch by this cairn here, but it's a bit lumpy bumpy and the main drag is only just over there, so I'm thinking I'm not going to look somewhere else. I've still got plenty of time, but there's excellent views from here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go and look 
over that way a bit because that looks pretty cool over there as well. Anyway, I'll catch up with you when I've decided. Hi. Right, apologies for lack of filming in the last hour or so. Um, I got to the cairn, as I said, and I thought it looked better up, up over the top there. Um, so I went up there and it wasn't, so I came back to the cairn. And then I faffed around and I faffed around and I faffed around. <laughs> I don't know, is it just me? But I spent seem to spend ages looking for the perfect pitch when there's like plenty that will like do. Anyway, eventually I got the tent up. By then it's dark. Uh, my hands have got really cold, so I'm just going to get into the bag for a while, uh, warm myself up, and uh, then I'll, I'll make a brew and, and start on dinner. In the meantime, yeah, just going to... Just going to get myself warm. <laughs> I bet others do it as well. I bet it's just not me who spends far too long looking for the perfect pitch. Or maybe it is just me, but either way. Right, I'm in now. Um, as I said, going to lie down, get warm, and then we'll get on with some dinner. Tell you what, I'm glad it's a mild curry because it's hot enough as it is. Yep, okay, I've got this down me. And we're on to the cheese and biscuits. Right, so mild curry. Went down really well. I'm onto the cheese and biscuits again as usual. Um, and a cup of coffee. I don't really have any new kit to show you this time. Um, but I did do something different. I brought this um, bivvy bag with me to put over my sleeping bag. If, if you saw my last video, you'd have known that I got a lot of condensation in this tent. This is the Fowl Raven again. I think it was the conditions rather than the tent really, you know, the ground's soppy and wet next to a stream, um, it had just been raining, so, you know, if you're going to get condensation, that's when you're going to get it. I've not had anywhere near that in this tent before, so, but I thought, you know, bring bring the bivvy bag and I'll test, see if that works, um, you know, or does it? Is there some, I don't know, what, what could be wrong with doing it? I don't know. Well, anyway. Um, but I did buy a new hat. Um, I don't know how worn this hat's going to be. And I don't think it'll last very long. And I probably only ever wear it the once. But anyway, here we go. Because, of course, this is... <laughs> This is the uh, the last walk, the last camp that I'm doing this year, and it's just before Christmas. So I thought, get in the spirit, Rog. Pretend that you like this stuff. Well, of course I do, really. Um, I've got a couple of things on my Christmas list to do with camping. Um, got one of those flame um, jet flame lighters is on there, and. Uh, a roux bag from Atom Packs. Now Andy Beavers and Paul Messner had a competition recently to win one of one of those, and I didn't. 
So I've put it on my Christmas list instead. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, I just want to say, if I forget to do it again, um, have yourselves a great Christmas, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the videos over the years, and especially those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Um, very, very grateful for that. And all the likes and the comments and everything. It's uh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I am going to finish my coffee and my cheese and biscuits. And then I'm going to watch a film. I will probably make another brew later on before I, I go to bed. I think it's, what's the time now? It's, it's only half seven. So there's plenty of time to fill. Got about almost 12 hours before the sun comes up. So uh, I think of something to do. Anyway, I'll talk to you a bit later. One last brew before I go to sleep. It's about quarter to 11 now. Uh, just realized I never told you that there was no sunset to film. Um, clouds in the sky, not even any color, which is very disappointing. But there you go. Hopefully there'll be something in the morning, um, but we'll just have to wait and see, I, I guess. Um, sunrise is, I think about eight o'clock. 8.01, 8.02, something like that. So there's every chance I should be awake by then. Because <laughs> I almost always am. And so hopefully, if there is a decent sunrise, that's the next thing you will see. If not, you'll probably see me um, groggily getting out of the tent, uh, making a brew and saying good morning. Anyway, for now, um, I'll leave it here and I'll get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Well, I've had, I've had a good night. So I got my head down about 11. Didn't seem to spend too long trying to get to sleep. Woke up briefly at half past four again, just for a while. And then finally woke up just, just after seven. So really, really good night's sleep. Nice and toasty. So I filmed the sunrise this morning, it seemed to take forever. It was due at eight o'clock, but of course it's behind the mountain, so it was about 20 past eight by the time um, I could see it. So I'm just sat here now watching the shadows working its way towards me as the sun gets higher. It's really, really nice. Yeah, really nice. So, plan now is I've got to get all this ice off the tent, or as much of it as I can, um, start packing up. And I'm going to go on round, sort of round down, <laughs> down this way and then back underneath at the bottom of the coombe and then get down into the valley and walk back up the Taft Trail back to the car. And I guess that's going to be another at least another half an hour. <sighs> Only one disaster this time, which is uh, a bonus, and it's not the biggest disaster in the world. <laughs> Somehow I've, I've either sat on or bent or something my spork. So uh, I'm sporkless. Never mind. Right, I'll get on with it, and I'll catch up with you when I've packed up. Oh, a lovely morning. 
Lovely morning. All packed up and as always we leave no trace oh that's taken me an age to pack up actually but uh, it's about half past nine now um, I'm just going to set off as I said on down round and back along the Taft Trail yeah good night and a beautiful morning beautiful morning the um, clouds are starting to come over now though so I'll try and get down before the Sun gets covered Anyway, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Whoever's making these kissing gates is doing a fantastic job. None of that uh, rubbish about trying to squeeze your backpack through. It's dead easy. It's huge, look at this. <laughs> Having said that, I just got stuck. <laughs> Make it easy, boy, don't you? Oh dear, 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 it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. I'm almost back down to the road, which are busy A road, which I've got to cross and then down a the field and up the Taft Trail. So I'll leave you here with this view, just of a penny van in the in the snow. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all my, my new subscribers who have jumped on in the last couple of weeks. You're very welcome. And thanks for all the continuing ones. It's, uh, it's really nice. Anyway, you have a good Christmas, have a good new year, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>